Okay, and we're back for our last recorded session for EPA1 in the Corona semester, spring 2020. This is a non-compulsory recording, that is, I'm not using this to take attendance. It is a short review of our course. And so there's a few things we'll go through. And basically, it's mostly a reminder of what you should already know. Let's start. First of all, the final test is a one-to-one -one interview type test in Zoom. It is the same link as we use for the midterm. The link is in the CTL. You have to have working audio. I can't listen to you if you if I can't hear you. Okay, whatever you have to do to make sure that audio works. We have a timetable. Now, you can change your time the day before your test. But please don't change your time at 9 a.m. when you have a 6 p.m. test. Change it the day before so that people have a chance to see it and maybe somebody will want to take your time. Especially the Tuesday time. So you can reschedule, but please reschedule at least the day before. If you are late for your test, or if you are absent for your test, your test grade will lose one score. Not the final course grade, but the test grade. So if you got a B on your test, it becomes a C. Don't be late for your interview. Same with the job. Don't be late, don't be late, don't be late. Don't miss it. If you have an emergency, send me a cacao. Send me a text message. Okay, our test is comprehensive. Language builds upon language. So anything we did this semester from the first day until the end of the 14th week, last Thursday or Friday, depending on your class, Wednesday or Friday, depending on your class, the test is comprehensive. In the Zoom, the waiting room function is active. When you come into Zoom, it's gonna tell you to wait then I'll invite you. So don't be surprised, just like the midterm. So what's on the test? Everything. Everything. Everything on the CTL, for example, that includes the assignments that you did. Right, I told you to do something. That stuff can be on the test. Anything that's in the Haksap Jario, on the eboard, that's all the things I put up. Uh, looks like web page, the files that are attached. Everything up there could be on the test. Anything in the notices could be on the test. Anything in the recorded videos like this that you saw by watching in the CTL, all those recorded videos, anything inside there can be on the test. Now I want to point out that week 8 recording on the CTL has a review of the first 7 weeks. You should watch that because I'm not going to record that. I'm not going to review that again today. Anything in the book that we talked about, okay, the stuff that we talked about anything in our Zoom live classes. Now, the live classes are not available for you to watch. It was only live. So you need to get notes from other people. If you missed it, if you didn't take notes, you need to get it from other people. Your notebook, anything in your notebook could be on a test. Here's an important one, your brain, your life experiences. You can remember from the midterm I asked you some questions. And some of that was, for example, tell me your mother's telephone number, right? Your life experiences. Anything that's in your brain I could ask you about, 
If it's a fair question, for example, the phone number was a test about numbers. I'm pretty sure you know your mom's telephone number. And if you don't, it's probably in your phone and you could look it up. And then tell me in English. Right? Now, I want to caution you. Some people, they study so hard and they don't get enough sleep. And then their brain is not working. So you need to balance study with sleep. This is not something you just memorize. You walk into a test and you close your eyes and you read a question and you just write. No, this is interactive and I can ask you questions and I can interrupt you and ask questions. You need your brain. It's a timed test. The time between interviews is 15 minutes, and I have to leave one person, check my notes, go to the next person. So you have 13 minutes maximum. There's more questions than from the midterm. So you don't have time to look up every single thing, looking in the book, looking in your notebook. There's stuff you should already know. You should have practiced it. Your self-introduction as a student, your self-introduction in the future with your name card, you should have that as automatic. Don't have to think. You've already practiced it. You don't need to re-note. Uh, you already practiced it. Tell me about your company history. You already know what you've already practiced it. But anyway, have your notes and any download files you have and any assignments you did and submitted. Have these at hand so you can look at them real quick if you need. Right? Because you don't have time to go looking on the website. You don't have time to start digging through your phone. I suggest you print things out. Okay? I suggest you print things out. Life will be easier. The last question for EPA 1, the last question on your test, will be locations and directions in the city. It's going to be. I warned you. It's going to be. It's difficult. Practice it. Now, save time for this question. You're probably going to need at least 90 seconds, maybe two minutes. It's a new map. You've never seen this map before. It's going to be on your screen, so you're going to have to figure it out and then tell me. Now, me, if I looked at something in a new map, I could probably figure it out in 30 or 45 seconds. But I've been doing this all my life. It's much harder for you. This is an important question. Save time so you can do it. Now, that's the general introduction. That's all my notes. So I'm going to walk through some things with you now, okay? So I can enlarge my picture a little bit. Maybe it will help you. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But... Oh, before we do that, actually, uh, I meant to... Take a look at the couple of pages. First of all, all the videos from this semester are available on my YouTube page. EPA 1, also EPA 3, also my culture class, also some stuff from several years ago. It's all here. So let's just copy that and drop it in here.
And we'll just shrink that a little bit. Tink. And we'll make that easy so that when you download this file, it'll be easy for you. Let's just make that a darker blue. Okay. So my YouTube page has all the old videos. So if you wanted to watch the EPA week eight video, here it is. And I think in this recording right now, the pictures will be blurry. This and this evening and tomorrow. Musical map. And a reminder of the test. On the Google Doc. And we can see that right now Tuesday is pretty full. There's a few spots Tuesday night. Now, as I said, night is reserved for night students. However, the day before, if there are spots open, you can take it. So from Monday after 6 p.m., if you find there is an open spot, you can take it. For example, right now we have three open spots on Tuesday. So after 6 p.m. on Monday, if it's open, you can take it. And the same is true for any day after that. Okay. Only Monday night I'm especially worried about. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, again, should be night students. But if you have a special problem, contact me. Okay. But for Monday night, if there is a day student that wants Monday night, after 6 p.m. on Monday, if there is a spot open, you can jump in it. All right. So if we're looking at the uh, CTL, we can see a few things here. If I can get the screen to fit for you. You can see that the full PowerPoint is there. Now I'm going to make a few updates during this recording, and then I will revise this. But the full PowerPoint, everything I put in PowerPoint this whole semester, mostly from recordings, but some from Zoom, will be uploaded. You can do it. The link for the videos is here on the CTL. So I don't really need to change the PowerPoint, actually, do I? in the CTO. And a reminder of the link for the interview is on the CTO. Also remember listening logs are due and notebooks are due. Listening logs are due first. That's right now, Sunday. I'm looking at the day class and I only have, I have 26 right now. So 10 people haven't turned in their listening logs. Uh, night class, Thirteen people have, fifteen people have turned their listening logs. Thirteen have not. If you lose, you lose. I can't help you. I told you. Okay, and the last session, the last video is there. This is the night class. Twenty-two people have watched it. Four people haven't. Two are in progress. We have. Uh, 
uh, this is 3 p.m. so we have another eight hours I'm not too worried about that one and my day class 30 people have watched it five people have not and one is in progress all right quick reminder one of the things we watched was young public uh, one of the things we did in class was young public servant for a day and I talked about that in our review so I don't need to talk about it here I can close that one this is my folder for EPA let's go to EPA 1 city maps I have a couple of new city maps here um, and I have some old notes that I'm going to look at while I talk to you but they're from previous semesters so it doesn't help you perfectly I need, I need to tell you what's important and what's not uh, where is it in the room we did we talked about taking notes for a telephone message so I'm going to show you what could be a telephone message pad. That's one possible way to do it. In your book you have some, some ways to do it. Here's a different way to do it. It's all blank. Do you know what goes in here? Look at the book, or look at the PDF file, I, the, the file I just now showed you. Okay, and talked about locations, right? Locations and directions, we did a lot of that. So let me open this guy. All right. Where's my book? All right. So, looking at our book, I'm going to walk us through our book. There's not much on the CTL that you can't look at easily. So, you should remember that on page 32 and following, page uh, unit 6, we started to talk about telephone. And I told you that making telephone uh, messages would be important. Making arrangements would be important. So if you look at page 33, there is this idea of when are you coming to Vancouver? Well, in our test, we could do something like that. And here's a section where you need your brain because there's no script. So if I say, oh, young me, when are you coming to Seoul? Just go with it. Okay. Just imagine that kind of a dialogue. Thing. Okay, I'm going to be in Seoul for a few days. So let's make a plan. Right. Ring, 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 ring. Right. Pick up the phone. I'm going to ask to talk to somebody. I'm going to ask if we can make a plan. All right. So page 34 is taking messages. Uh, page 36 is about statistics and charting. Don't care. I'm not going to test you on this. Often I do. This time I won't. Page 37, time zones. I'm not going to test you on that. Don't worry about it. 
page 38, 39, 40. The rest of the book basically is locations and directions. We spent three weeks talking about where in the room, right? So we have language, we talked about um, things that you could find in an, in an office. I mentioned that traditionally when I tested face to face in my office, I usually had things on my desk and I ask you to describe where it is. Well, we can't do that this time. My camera isn't set up for that. And I'll be recording here in my home rather than doing a face-to-face -face in my office. But you should be ready to talk about something, for example, in the office or on the desk, like this picture. Uh, can you see it now? Yeah, that guy sitting at that Remember we talked about is that a table or is a desk? What is the difference between a table and a desk? That's page 38. We talked about the difference between big and little, large and small. Yeah, they're partners. In the same way, above, below. Right? Remember? Over, under. Over and under are opposites. Above, below are opposites. Above is wider. Up, right? Over means directly over, like we'll fall down on it. Above could be over here. If it falls, it doesn't hit, but it's still higher than, so it's still above. Uh, in the book, there are some typical office supplies, briefcase, calendar. We talked about the difference between a briefcase and a suitcase, right? Page 39 is kind of like inside a building. We are not going to do locations inside a building. Page 40 is basically inside a building. We're not going to do inside a building. We also talked about the difference between US and UK for ground floor and first floor. Page 42 talks about comfort zone. Where are you comfortable? How much space do you need? As now, especially now, in this uh, COVID time, we're p telling people to stay two meters apart. That's for health purposes. That's not really a question about comfort. All right? And then page 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. These are uh, locations and directions. Again, we're not going to do inside a building. We could do in a city, 47, 48. And we didn't do page 48. So 47 is the end of the chapter, is the end of our test this time. Now, a few other things I want to remind you for numbers. You should know your numbers up to 1 million. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, the seventh digit, 0, 0, 0, comma, 0, 0, 0, comma, 1 in front, that's 1 million. You should know all your numbers from 1 million, actually from 9,999,999, right? 9,999,999. I will not test you more than 9 million. It's the same rule, but I won't test you. Um, let's see, anything else that I need to talk about this time? I don't think I have anything else. Everything else is from the first half. We talked about things like musical math, right? A question that was on the midterm can be on the final. Something that we talked about in the first half but was not on the midterm, also can be on the final. So truly this test is from day one until day last. I don't have anything else for this review.
please remember, if somebody says, how do I get to the ABC Mart? Always start with, ah, there are several ABC Mart in Dongsungno. One is next to McDonald's. Where's that? Ah, okay. So the ABC Mart is near the Daegu Baekwajam shop on Dongsungno. Okay? Uh, yeah, okay. From Debek, uh, from Daegu Baekwajam, look at the McDonald's, which is basically across the walkway. Yeah? See the McDonald's? Right. So you're looking at the McDonald's, walk left, go past the McDonald's, down the wide road, about 50 meters, and ABC Mart is on your left. I hope that's right. I might have forgotten. Um, but, for example, we will use a map. I will give you a map. So here's a hint. Your test will be easier if you have a bigger screen to look at. If you're trying to tell directions on a map that I am sharing with you, and you're trying to tell directions through your phone, that could be hard. That's small. I want to recommend to you that you're on a computer. Oh, excuse me. That you test your computer in advance, make sure the zoom is working, make sure the audio is working for the zoom, make sure it's got a nice big screen, make sure there's not too much background noise, because if I can't hear you or you can't hear me, that's going to waste your time. Right? Make sure you can hear. Make sure I can hear you. Make sure the audio is good. I don't have to see your video. It's better if I do. Because if I do, if I see your body language, I can help you. If I can't see your body language, it's much harder for me to help you. And I will check to make sure you are really you cheating on the test, don't ask somebody else to sit for you, because I have ways to check to make sure who is who. Some of you I know. A few of you I don't really know. But unless your friend was sitting in class all semester, I've got pictures. Okay? I've got pictures. I haven't shown you the pictures before. They're terrible. You know your high school picture that you submitted when you applied for school? We have those things. Uh, do I have it right here with me? I'm not sure. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Uh, anyway, I, I have pictures of all students from the university system. And I also have pictures. Here's one. your favorite photos all right sorry guys and I have pictures from some classes example right I think I've done everything I want to do today I wish you good luck in tests I would love to have a problem where I have all A's. Finally, I have to break it down, right? 50% A is the maximum. I'm not promising 50% A. It could be less. could be less. But I would love to have a problem where I have to fight to find who has A and who has to get a B+. Plus. And if you're not getting at least a B0 in this class, it means you really messed up because it is coronavirus semester and it is harder and I do want to reward students as much as possible so I'm gonna say good luck and I hope I'll see you I hope I'll see you next semester in EPA 2 oh and night students it seems like EPA 2 and EPA 3 are going to be available so uh, I hope you'll join <laughs>